kind of got blurry over there. All we've been given by those who came before The dream of a nation where freedom would endure The work and prayers of centuries have brought us to this day What shall be our legacy? What will our children say? Let them say of me, I was one who believed. Michigan at Tebbs Bend. During the first week of July 1863, while the people of the North and the South focused their attention on Gettysburg and with, in Vicksburg, five Michigan companies defend the bridge across the Green River here at Tebbs Bend. They were members of the 25th. Michigan Volunteer Infantry Colonel Orlando H. Moore Commanding 1st Brigade 2nd Division 23rd Army Corps Sorry there's like all kinds of insects and that's all that Um, where was I? 1st Brigade 2nd Division 23rd Army Corps Army of the Ohio on the morning of July 4th, 1863, Confederate cavalry troops under the command of General John H. Morgan attacked the 260 well entrenched Michigan volunteers. After the Michigan troops repelled eight attacks, Morgan retreated from this local. However, the however his troops continued to raid through Kentucky and Indiana before the last remnants were captured in Ohio. July's coming up y'all and we came to this cemetery to show our respects to the veterans here who all passed away on 4th of July. Dedicated to the memory of the soldiers of the Kentucky Confederate Cav Calvary CSA who gave their lives in the Battle of Green River Bridge Tabs Bend fought July 4th 1863 we thank you all for your service yes thank you and what you all did for this country. Every single one of these veterans that served our country, they all passed away on July 4th. Eighteen sixty three. Yep, these are all eighteen sixty threes. Rest in peace. And again, thank you all for your service and your dedication to this country. We're just walking around here, showing you all the cemetery.
I just do not feel like we should do a paranormal investigation here. Just an exploration of the cemetery. That's what I feel for the respect of these veterans. This is an unknown soldier. Beautiful tombstone right there. Yeah. But yeah, I just do not feel like we should do a paranormal investigation here for respect for the veterans. So, if you all hear any voices from the soldiers, and the camera picks it up, that's all we're going to hear. I feel nothing negative here. I just feel peace, peaceful, um, sadness in a way. But nothing negative. Just peaceful and sadness mixture of both. It's beautiful how they got this laid out. this when they do their tours this is where people would come sit and they would tell stories about the soldiers discuss because this whole area is one big tour uh-huh and three miles that way is where battle happened uh three battle miles happened. down that way yep so this area, all the way back to where I'm going to show y'all, has been nothing but battleground. It's crazy. I'm gonna read some of the plaques for you all. Oh, I got a bug in my eye. I'm sorry for the. There's all kinds of gnats and stuff like that. Wind's picking up. And they have the fifth ever US flag. They have a few stars in the stripes. Yeah. Might be one, but might be the fourth ever flag. Turn up the brightness so you all can see. There we go. All right. Michigan at Tebbs Bend. During the first week of July 1863, while the people of the North and the South focused their attention on Gettysburg and was in Vicksburg, five Michigan companies defend the bridge across the Green River here at Tibbs Bend. They were members of the 25th Michigan Volunteer Infantry. Colonel Orlando H. Moore commanding 1st 
Brigade, 2nd Division, 23rd Army Corps. Sorry, there's like all kinds of insects, gnats, all that. Um, where was I? 1st Brigade, 2nd Division, 23rd Army Corps, Army of the Ohio. On the morning of July 4th, 1863, Confederate Cavalry troops under the command of General John H. Morgan attacked the 260 well entrenched Michigan volunteers. After the Michigan troops repelled eight attacks, Morgan retreated from this local. However, the troop, however, his troops continued to raid through Kentucky and Indiana before the last remnants were captured in Ohio. Erected July 4th, 1988. These are all the soldiers, most of them. The daddy long leg. Near the spider. But yeah, I just don't feel like going uh, to do like an investigation here because of I want to show the respect to these veterans, you know, into the families and to their families. So. This will be just a exploration of the cemetery. Kind of that historic. And the historic exploration of the cemetery. The 260 veterans. I think that's what I heard. Or read. It's correct. 260. Let me go back over here. Yeah, General John H. Morgan attacked the 260 well entrenched Michigan Volunteers. So there are probably more buried somewhere else around here. Mm -hmm. And this is just a small plot of the veterans here. But they all risked their lives for this country. And they all died 4th of July and it's coming up this year. We show all respect to these veterans here. Y'all rest in peace. We thank you for your service and what you all did for this country. God bless y'all. Kinda got blurry over there. Are you trying to show yourselves? You can if you want to, it's up to you. But we just want to come here to pay our respects to you all. Again, God bless you all. We respect you all and we thank you for your service.